Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David, brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. The Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time. This is morning prayer for Monday, week four of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next, before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth. You are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants, and let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Eternal Father, you give us life despite our guilt, and even add days and years to our lives in order to bring us wisdom. Make us love and obey you, so that the works of our hands may always display what your hands have done until the day we gaze upon the beauty of your face. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. From the farthest bounds of the earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero. Like a warrior, he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry. Against his enemies, he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey. By paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain, from his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, your name and memory last forever. We stand to pray in your house and praise you with psalms of joy. We ask you in your kindness to have mercy on us in our lowliness. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test, as he did our forefathers, 
Recall how he dealt with Abraham and how he tried Isaac and all that happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia while he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts, nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Because Christ hears and saves those who hope in him, let us pray. We praise you, Lord, we hope in you. With the Father, you are always at work in the world. Make all things new through the power of your Holy Spirit. You call us today to your service. Make us stewards of your many gifts. We praise you, Lord. We hope in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Creator, you gave us the earth to cultivate and the sun to serve our needs. Help us to spend this day for your glory and our neighbor's good. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Monday, Week 4 of the 32nd Week in Ordinary Time. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, a worldwide Catholic association of lay people who pray the Divine Office daily as part of their rule of life. Sacred music has been provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, a monastic community of women who desire to imitate the Blessed Virgin Mary in the giving of herself to God. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>